Hello, everyone. Welcome to our virtual yoga class. We'll go ahead and begin class in a seated position. You can sit on your ankles or you can sit in a cross-legged position. And then we're going to gently shift our attention into our bodies, noticing that we're cultivating a practice. Let's inhale, your belly expands, ribcage expands. Exhale, release. Notice a second, a third, fourth, and fifth breath cycle. We're looking for five breaths, inhaling and exhaling. And you're noticing and observing right now. There's not a right way, a wrong way to breathe. Noticing the quality of the breath, perhaps increasing the inhale and the exhale just a little longer to help with your concentration. As you shift your attention to your breath, start to broaden your awareness to your posture. Notice the base of your spine. Activate your core, chest lifts, slide your shoulders down, chin is neutral. Inhale here, and then exhale, sigh it out. You wanna purposely release that tension from earlier in the week, earlier in your day, Inhaling here, exhaling, sighing it out. We're building that bridge of the physical, mental, emotional body with our breath. Our breath is our focusing tool. One more breath here, inhaling here, exhaling, sighing it out. And then if your eyes are closed, you can gently open your eyes. On your following inhale, let's lift our arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, palms up towards the ceiling. So we'll remain here a moment. Lengthening our arms, you can take your gaze down towards the floor, draw your shoulders down, and then stretch towards the left side of the room. So you want that side body stretch there and your right side body. Hold. So you're holding the pose, but you're not holding your breath. Welcome the breath, inhaling, exhaling, breathing into your side. And then back to center, opposite side. Breathing into your side. Back to center, lengthen your arms, palms up towards the ceiling and then release your hands down. Interlace your fingers behind you. Here, you're purposely drawing your shoulder blades together, opening the chest, lengthening the elbows. Now take your gaze up towards the ceiling, and then release your hands on your thighs, your knees, depending on what position you're in, and then lift your shoulders up towards your ears and then draw them down. So as I'm lifting my shoulders up towards my ears, chin is neutral, and as I draw them down, I purposely knit those shoulder blades closer together. Lift up, shoulders up. Draw your shoulder blades closer together as you release your shoulders down. Up, and then one more round, lifting your shoulders up and then drawing them down. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers, palms up towards the ceiling and now round your spine, chin towards chest, palms towards the front of the room. Deep belly breath here, inhale here, perhaps even exhale side out. And I'll tilt forward. We're shifting into our tabletop, making sure our hands are right beneath our shoulders and our knees, our hips width distance apart. Press that left hand onto the floor. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Pull. So you're lifting, you're reaching with that arm as high as you can. And then drop your hand back down towards the mat, opposite side. 
pull the pose. Inhale. And then release. We'll continue working on our spine. Inhale, lift into your cow pose. Exhale, round your spine into your cat pose. Move with your breath. Inhaling up. As you're inhaling up, I'm lifting the tailbone as much as I can. Sliding my shoulders back. As I exhale, I tuck my chin towards my chest, releasing throughout the back of the neck. Feel free to hear your inhale and your exhale. You want your breath to be that bridge of the physical, mental, emotional body. And then wherever you're at, about one more round. Into your cow pose, inhaling, lifting your tailbone. And then on that cow pose, stay there, remain there an extra breath. So you're exhaling, inhaling, and then exhaling once more. Neutralize the spine. Start to lengthen that left leg out behind you so your leg is parallel to the floor. Bend your knee and then stack your hips. We're opening up that left glute, left hip. Lift your chest, press through your palms, hold. Round your spine, knee towards your chest, chin towards your chest. And then drop your knee back down towards the floor. Opposite side, lift your right leg, bend your knee, stack your hips, hold. Round your spine, chin towards chest, knee towards chest, press through your palms. Drop your knees, and then step back into your child's pose. Either knees close together, or knees towards the edges of your mat. Inhale here, perhaps exhale side out. Five breaths. Sinking your hips towards the floor. Softening the arms. Lengthen your inhale and your exhale to support you in concentrating on your breath. One more intentional breath here. And then start to release your child's pose. Shift back into your tabletop, shifting your hands right beneath your shoulders, knees, hips width distance apart. Inhale, lift that right arm up towards the ceiling as we did earlier. Hold and release. Opposite side, lift your left arm. Inhale here. Exhale, release your hand. Lift your left leg so it's parallel to the floor. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Round your spine, knee towards your chest, chin towards your chest. And now lengthen your left leg once again. It's parallel to the floor. Ground that left palm onto the floor, and then lift your right arm. So we're coming into a balance here. You're lifting your core up towards the ceiling. You're strengthening throughout the lower back. You're reaching that right arm forward. You can either take your gaze towards the front of the room or take your gaze down towards the floor. Deep belly breath. And then release. One cow pose. One cat pose. Come back into that neutral spine and now lift that right leg, bend your knee, stack your hips, round your spine, knee towards your elbow or your chest there, chin towards your chest as well. 
Lengthen that leg, remain here. Activate your core, press that right palm firmly onto the floor, and then lift your left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Release your left hand, release your knee. Inhale, lift up, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Shift back into your child's pose, knees close together or towards the edges of your mat. You also have two options here with your arms. You can take your arms out in front of you, palms on the floor, or you can release your hands so they're framing around your feet and then your shoulders roll forward. Deep belly breath. Five breath cycles, inhale here, exhale. One more deep belly breath here. Release your hands wherever they're at and shift back them up. We'll transition into our tabletop. One cow and cat pose. And now release, we're gonna lift up into our downward facing dog, lifting our hips here. So it's the first time we're really deepening that stretch around the hamstrings here. So remain here. A few breath cycles, you're pressing your palms with your hands, you're bringing your chest closer towards your thighs. Now pedal your feet back and forth. Be generous about dropping one hip more than the other, bending one knee more generously than the other. You want to intensify that stretch around the hips and glutes and especially the hamstrings. Back and forth. Bending your knee, dropping your hip. One more deep belly breath here. And now take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Press that left hand onto the floor, or you can rest that hand on your shin or thigh. And then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. There's a twist here, there's a generous bend to your left knee, you're lengthening your right leg to intensify that stretch in the hamstrings, hips, and glutes. Don't forget to breathe here. Opposite side, lift that left arm up towards the ceiling, generous bend there to that right knee, lengthen your left leg, hands can reach anywhere, lower shin or thigh, Inhale here, exhale, release, let's sweep our arms up overhead. Being intentional here as we're lifting our arms up overhead, hands in front of our heart center, we can inhale here, exhale, side it out. Draw your shoulders down, release your hands, hands frame your hips. So part of the more difficult parts of yoga is being still. Let's practice that stillness Inhaling and exhaling for the day we've had so far. Inhaling and exhaling for this moment. And inhaling and exhaling for the rest of our day. If your eyes are closed, we start to gently open our eyes. Let's sweep our arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, fold down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. 
Exhale, release that back into your plank pose. Legs are long, you're lifting your core up towards the ceiling. Release down towards the floor, inhale up, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath in that down dog. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Lift your arms up overhead. Inhale, and exhale. Either hands in front of your heart center or hands framing your hips. Generous breath here. Inhale, let's lift our arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, fold down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, step back into your plank pose. Your hands are beneath your shoulders, elbows remain close to your torso as you release down towards the floor. Inhale, up, upward facing dog, and then down dog. Lengthening throughout the spine, take your gaze between your hands. Walk or jump up to your forward fold, hands to shins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Sweep your arms up overhead. You're starting to create your own rhythm here. Feel free to move more quicker or quicker or slowly. Third sun salutation. Let's lift our arms up. Exhale, release. So you're inhaling halfway up, exhaling, folding over, neck is relaxed, and then step back into your plank pose, inhaling, and then exhale, release down towards the floor, inhale up, upward facing dog, and then we meet at our down dog. Once in that downward facing dog, lift your right leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. And then right knee shifts towards that right elbow. You hover here, lifting your core up towards the ceiling. Lift your leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. Release your foot back down towards the floor. Lift your left leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. And by that generous breath, left knee towards that left elbow, hover. And then lift your leg, Bend your knees, stack your hips. Release your foot back down towards the floor. And then step back into your child's pose. We'll remain here five breaths. Pay attention to your belly. Lengthen your inhale and your exhale. If you ever have trouble concentrating throughout the class, retrain your breath and lengthen your inhale and your exhale just a little bit. It can be very subtle. Perhaps inhaling, receiving, what supports you. Exhaling, what does that support you? Intentional inhale here. And intentional exhale. 
Start to release your child's pose, lifting up into your downward facing dog. Take your gaze between your hands, walk or jump up to that forward fold. Press that left hand onto the floor, shin or thigh. Lift that right arm up towards the ceiling. Generous bend there to that left knee. Don't forget your breath here. And then release. Opposite side. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Lengthen that left leg. Release your hand and now slowly roll up to standing. Head comes up last. Torso and arms are relaxed. Head comes up last. You're placing weight on your heels. You lengthen your spine, palms face the front of the room. You're drawing your shoulders down. Inhale, deep belly breath, and exhale. We'll start to prepare for our warrior two, taking our left foot forward and stepping our right leg back. So as we step our right leg back, that right foot is in a diagonal. Your hips naturally open here, and there's a 90 degree angle to that left knee. Take that left arm over your thigh, right arm behind you. Now you're taking your gaze over that left hand. Hold. Take one breath from your heels all the way to the top of your head. And now release that right hand right behind your thigh. Lift your left arm up. Hold. We're stretching and opening throughout the lower back, side body as well. Come back to center, warrior two, inhale. Exhale. Release your left elbow onto your thigh. Lift that right arm up towards the ceiling and hold. One breath, inhale, exhale. Either remain here or lengthen that left leg. Drop your hand down towards your shin, ankle, or floor. Keep that gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, release both hands towards the floor. Now pivot that right foot so your toes face the front. Keep a bend to that left knee. Press that right hand onto the floor. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Optional if you want to release that knee on the floor. Deep belly breath here. And then release your hand down towards the floor. And then shift back into a downward facing dog. Planting your hands firmly on the floor. Chest towards your thighs. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale. Release, knees are bent. Your choice how you come up to standing. Make it your practice. You can slowly roll up. You can sweep your arms up overhead. Hands can meet either in front of your heart center or hands can frame your hips. In either pose, you're noticing your heels. The base of the spine is soft. Notice the length of the spine here all the way up to the top of your head. And now release into a warrior or shift into a warrior two. Right foot forward, left leg steps back. That left foot is in a diagonal. You bring that bend to that knee. Your hips are naturally open here. Take that arms out to a T. You're taking your gaze over that right hand. Your feet are firmly planted. Take one breath from the base of your heels up to the crown of your head. Now release that left hand behind your thigh. Lift that right arm up, hold. Draw that left shoulder down, and then back to center warrior two. Inhale, exhale here, and now drop that right elbow right on top of that thigh. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Sink that right hip towards the floor. Either remain here or lengthen that right knee. Drop your hand towards the 
shin, your shin or the floor. Either take your gaze up towards the ceiling or you can release your gaze down towards the floor if lifting your gaze up towards the ceiling creates strain. Inhale. Exhale. Release both hands down towards the floor to free that right foot. Pivot that left foot. Step back. Downward facing dog. Inhale here and exhale. Remain here in your down dog. From downward facing dog, plank pose. You're gonna hold your plank pose. Inhale here, exhale. You're lifting your core up towards the ceiling. Lift back up, downward facing dog. Plank pose. Hold. Downward facing dog, take a breath. Third round, plank pose, hold. And then from your plank pose, release your knees down towards the floor and then drop your belly. Remain here. We're drawing your shoulder blades closer together. Inhale, interlace those fingers, lift up. Exhale, release. We're gonna go ahead and float our feet off the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Three more times with your breath. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Using that inhale to find that lift. Purposely drawing your shoulder blades closer together. As you reach that fifth round, remainder an extra breath cycle. And then release your cheek on the floor. Drop your arms, very purposely soften from the neck down the spine, collapse your breath. Let that breath be what it needs to be. Noticing that as a holistic yoga practice, we're appreciating both the moments of being active with our bodies, but also to be passive with our bodies. We have these purposeful poses, these restorative poses, which allow us to soften physically, and then as we build that bridge, we can soften mentally and emotionally as well. You can inhale here, exhale, sigh it out. Your body is relaxed. Your attention is still focused and aware. We're still cultivating that practice, that focus. Perhaps lengthen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. Can be subtle. About one to two more breaths here. Start to shift your hands so they frame your chest. You're going to press that left palm firmly onto the floor. Keep your elbow close to your torso. Lift that right arm and then opposite an opposite leg up. Left leg, right arm lifts, and then release. Opposite side, left arm lifts. You're pressing through that right palm for support. One more time on each side. And then on that next round, both arms lift, both legs lift, and then remain here. Inhale, exhale. 
lifting your chest, activating a lot of strength here throughout the core and back. Glutes and quads are supporting as well. Try not to crunch your shoulders up close to your ears, draw them down. And that opposite cheek onto the floor, drop your hands, collapse your body. Purposely soften from the upper spine to the lower back. Invite a deep belly breath. And then take an intentional breath to build that bridge of the physical, mental, emotional body. About three more breaths here on your belly. We'll start to release our hands to frame our chest. Bend both knees and now extend both hands behind you. You're lifting your chest, opening throughout the abdomen, lengthening throughout the spine, and then release. So on the next round, you can remain here or you can start to grab your ankles with your hands and then very purposely kick back, drawing your shoulder blades together, activating around the glutes and the quads, opening throughout the abdomen, and then stretching and opening throughout the back. Inhale and exhale, release. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. And the next round, bend your knees. You have that option of just shooting your fingers out behind you, lifting your chest, or grab your ankles and then kick back. You're drawing your shoulder blades closer together. And then release. Hands frame your chest. Start to extend your elbows, upward facing dog. And then lift up into your downward facing dog. Bring your chest closer towards your thighs. Pedal your feet back and forth here. Take a generous breath. And then release both knees down towards the floor. Shift both hands right beneath your shoulders. Press that left hand onto the floor. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. We're preparing for needle pose. So we're dropping our shoulders, our right shoulder onto the floor, onto your mat, and then lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Now either keeping that hand lifted or resting that hand on your lower back. Inhale here. And then release hands onto the floor. Take a breath, inhaling to your cow pose. And then exhaling, rounding your spine into your cat pose. Opposite side, lift your left arm up. Press that right hand onto the floor. And then release that left shoulder down towards the mat. Needle pose, lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Either keeping that arm lifted or releasing your hand on your hip. About three breaths here. Release your hand back down towards the floor. 
We'll shift up into our tabletop position and then inhale up into your cow and cat pose. Take one round. Inhaling up, exhale around your spine. And then we will meet in a seated position. And then once you transition into your seat, let's go ahead and transition, um, extending our legs out. We're gonna extend our legs out to the shape of a V. And then you're going to shift your chest to uh, point towards that right foot, that right ankle. And then you can rest your hands on your thighs here. Make sure we're gonna fold over and then make sure you're leading through your chest. You can flex that left foot or relax that left foot. Hold. Hands can rest on your thighs. You can take your hands down to your shins, to your toes, whatever most supports you. Inhale and exhale. We're noticing where our boundary is. We're breathing into that boundary to see if we can shift it and we can deepen just a little bit more. And it can always be very subtle. Drop your belly towards your thigh, deep belly breath, and then release. Come back to center, shift your chest towards that left foot. Lead through your chest, your heart as you fold down, hands can reach thigh, shins, or toes, and fold. Notice where it feels tense. Notice where that boundary is and fold a little bit more. Two more deep belly breaths. Release, come back to center, and now we'll fold over the middle, inching our hands forward. Drop your belly, your chest towards the floor. Take your hands out as far as you can. You can invite a little micro bend to your knees and hold. Belly expands, neck is soft. Two more breaths. And now release the pose. As you release the pose, shift it back into a cross-legged position. Remain where you're at. We're going to shift into a twist. Take that right hand over that left knee, twist towards the left. Chin moves towards your chest. I mean, sorry, chin moves towards your shoulder. And then release. Left hand on your knee, chin moves towards your shoulder. One more time. Right hand on that left knee. You want to make sure you grip that knee to intensify that twist. And release. 
Left hand grab that right knee, intensify that twist. You're taking your gaze towards that right shoulder. You're drawing that right shoulder down. And then release, come back to center. Soles of the feet come to touch and then fold. Elbows can rest on your calves or near the insides of your knees. Three breaths. Again, a practice of noticing where your boundary is, breathing into that boundary, and then folding just a little bit more. That's how we increase our flexibility. Belly expands, you can exhale, perhaps even side out. And then come back to center, either shifting into your cross-legged position or to sit on your ankles. Drop your chin towards your chest and then hold and remain here. Notice that stretch in the neck, even the upper back. And then come back to that neutral position. Take your chin over that right shoulder. And then gaze over your left shoulder. Chin lifts up towards the ceiling. And now chin releases back down towards your chest from here. Start with your neck rolls. Chin moving towards your shoulder, lifting up towards the ceiling, towards your opposite shoulder, and then back to your chest. Full circle or just half a circle. You're noticing the parts that feel a little tense and needs to open up. We tend to hold a lot of stress, a lot of tension around our neck and shoulders. We also tend to round around our upper back. So your posture is long, core is active, shoulders are drawn down, release tension, not just around the neck, but the upper back, even the mid back, you're releasing throughout the shoulders as well. Allowing here for another five to 10 breath cycles at any point, you can bring your head back to a neutral position and work on meditation. That's always an option. Three more breaths with those neck rolls.
head slowly starting to shift back to that neutral position. Decide if you prefer to keep your eyes open or closed. If your eyes are open, focus on one point across the floor or room. Inhaling and exhaling for the day you've had so far. Inhaling and exhaling for this moment. And then inhaling and exhaling for the rest of your day. Perhaps inhaling, exhaling, sighing it out. And then we'll start to lengthen our legs out in front of us. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Activate around the core, the glutes and the quads. Palms lifted up towards the ceiling. Chin moves down towards your chest. You're gonna hover, your feet can float off the floor. Any shaking is fine, hold the pose. You're not holding your breath. And then drop your head all the way back. Lift your arms up overhead, full body stretch. You're interlacing your fingers, lifting your abdomen up towards the ceiling, softening around the tailbone, pointing your toes. And then release your hands, bend both knees, feet on the floor. Rest that left ankle on top of your right thigh. Weave your left hand between your legs. Interlace your fingers behind that right thigh and hold. Bring your thigh closer towards your belly, your chest, and intensify that stretch on the left side of the hip. and then release. Opposite side, right ankle, rest on top of your left thigh. Weave your right hand between your legs, interlace your fingers behind that left thigh. Either remaining here or bringing your thigh closer towards your belly, your chest. Intensify that twist around that right side of the hip. Inhale. And then exhale, start to release the pose. Bend both knees, cup your knees with your hands, and then massage here around the lower back. You can sway towards the left, towards the right. You can also bring your knees into these circles, bringing your knees close towards your belly and then pushing them away. I've seen up there to massage around the tailbone and the lower back. And now start to grab your feet with your hands. And then from here, you can lengthen both legs as much as you want. You can bend both knees. You wanna get that final stretch from the tops of your feet, ankles, down to your calves, hamstrings, hips and glutes to your lower back. You can even massage that mid back or rocking to the left, to the right. Take a few moments here. and then release your legs down towards the floor. We'll start to prepare for our final resting pose or Shavasana. If you need one more pose to feel more complete for the class, take a moment to do so. Soften the neck down the spine to your hips, down the length of your legs to your ankles and toes.
Notice that this pose is a pose of rest, of integrating your practice, the pose of stillness, and of releasing expectations, noticing the wisdom of being still and not doing very much. We soften our forehead and our jaw and neck down to our shoulders. Soften down the length of your arms to your wrists and palms, fingertips. Release the upper back, mid back, lower back. And then down the length of your legs. Release around the hips, behind the knees, down to your ankles and toes. And then you have two options with your breath. Let it rise and fall naturally. No control of the breath. Or take some intentional long breaths. Observe sounds around you and thoughts without any judgment, just noticing, cultivating that neutrality.
start to shift your attention back to your breath. Welcoming a generous and leisurely inhale and exhale. Restore some movement to your fingertips and your toes. You have the option of inviting a full body stretch, lifting your arms up overhead, interlacing your fingers, switching your toes. You can turn to your side, allowing your body to remain heavy and relaxed. Return to that generous and that leisurely breath, very distinct type of breath. Slows down our relationship with time. And then after another breath or two, start to make your way up to your seat, whatever that looks like for you, and your ankles cross-legged or if you even have to stretch your legs out in front, that is a possibility. You've been practicing a lot of presence and awareness throughout the class, physically, mentally, emotionally. So as you come to sit in the position that works for you, notice what little adjustments can you invite to be in, in deeper integrity with yourself, with your body. Maybe a subtle little shift. And in gratitude and in appreciation of the power of our breath, we'll take our hands in front of our heart center. We'll inhale here and exhale. And in the tradition of yoga, the highest in me sees the highest in you. Namaste. Namaste. 